welcome back to the channel guys today we're hopping to some more bone chilling tiktoks that we're gonna be checking out if you guys do enjoy this video today make sure to hit that like hit that subscribe and as well as ring that notification bell it helps the videos grow and get to viewers like you other than that i know i've been posting a couple of days i've been really busy around the house and i haven't been able to sit down at my computer but it's good to be back and back in front of you guys i'm glad that we're here tonight other than that let's hop on into this video try not to get scared grab your treats and let's see what we got if you encounter this thing you're doomed in the north woods of Minnesota, Algonquin oh, legend shoot. is a malevolent entity. I live next to Minnesota. According to the legends, these terrifying creatures are created when a human resorts Wait, to hold up. eating other people. And it's then I didn't know Wendigos were actively in Minnesota. Into a deformed skeletal monster Bro, I stayed like in an Airbnb its name in the middle of the woods the out there. The evil spirit that will devour mankind. It's said that they live in cold climates and appear like an emaciated person. So much oh my so, gosh, bro. If I seen a Wendigo in the forest looking at me, I would be tweaking. Heart made of ice. They were known to be giants, and the more they ate, the bigger they became, with some growing up to 15 feet tall. It's also said that they lure in unsuspecting people by mimicking the voices of loved ones or make the sound of someone who could be hurt. And when you go to investigate, well, uh, rest see, because they'll either eat you or- I'm not gonna be running out in the middle of the woods to help nobody scream and help me, help me, uh, uh, if it's dark out and it's cold out, I'm calling 911. I'll get the nearest rescue team out your way into manifesting this behavior to survive, and the stories served as a warning for future generations. But could there be some truth to these stories about a real creature that's lurking somewhere out there? Let me know what you think in the comments and- I definitely know. think Wendigos are real. The only reason why I say why I think Wendigos are real, because I mean, you, you look at your native culture and your native culture just describes these beast like things that creep in the trees it's honestly terrifying and so many different cultures carry so many different mythologies with different creatures demonic entities all that kind of stuff and the thing is with hearing these stories there has to be some truth behind it who knows i don't know if you know let me know but at the end of the day i don't know but if you know leave it in the comments I should. Yo. Whoa. Here you go. Whoa. Run, 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 run. Go, 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 go. What the hell? Inside, inside, inside. Close it, close it, close it. Bro, this almost looks skidded. Does it not? Does this look skidded? Oh my gosh. He's going to the basement. You gotta lock it. You gotta lock it now. Yikes. Here! Ah. I hate I hate things chasing or running at people. I can't play games like that either. Like Outlast, I didn't even make it past the first mission. Like anything that chases you gets my heart going. Like I'm dead serious. Like watching these thriller horror movies that people chase or things chase after people. I'm the person sitting there like run. I don't know why, but it just gives me mad anxiety. Like having that thought of something chasing you, like not seeing what's behind you, but hearing it. Oh, absolutely not. Here. You're backpacking and it's 6:30 and you hear this. Hey, I would be telling that girl, shut up. We're next on the list. Backtrack. You better be going the opposite way on that trail. I would not be going that way. Nah. Yo, you better hope that biker's still alive. I'll be calling Game Fishing Park. <laughs> Being on a trail and hearing that, it could definitely be coyotes. 
It could definitely be skinwalkers. It could definitely be a Wendigo. It could definitely be so many other options. I mean, it's so hard to say. And they were in a heavily forested area with mountains. So, I mean, deep in the woods, there's probably creatures that we still have yet to see or discover. I mean, animals are just like humans. If we want to avoid you, we will. <laughs> you know what I mean? But at the end of the day, it's hard to say what kind of noises those were and as well as what was making them. But hopefully that biker is still okay. Song in the world and here's why. Okay, so we all heard scariest song, before, song in the world. If you're into scary things and watch the insidious movies. But do you know the very disturbing and chilling back? Why did he make the that song? Well, the song is called Tiptoe Through the Tulips, and it was recorded and released in 1968 Pedophile. by American singer Tiny Tim. Pedophile. And when the song was first released, Staying outside the window. The scary reputation it has now. However, this would change during his last ever live performance of the song. On September 28, 1996, Tiny Tim suffered a heart attack that was pretty miniature while performing at a music festival. And after this happened, his doctors advised him that he wasn't healthy enough to perform on stage anymore. However, Tiny Tim ignored the advice from his doctors and scheduled another concert at a women's club in Minnesota the next month. But right before his performance, he told his wife that he wasn't feeling that good. Nevertheless, Tiny Tim decided to go on stage anyway. And after performing the last song of the night, he suffered a major, major heart attack on stage and died in front of the crowd. And the song he was performing was Tiptoe Through the Tulips. This song was already terrifying, but it's 100 times more terrifying after knowing this. Now, listen to it again after knowing this. I don't want to listen to this! That's a rebuke. I did not know any of that history about that song. Hey, and if you didn't know it, now you do. But that is crazy. Homie died performing that song. That all makes sense now. I just can't believe he died performing that from a major heart attack. Like, would y'all think that song is cursed? If you do, let me know down in the comments. I want to know your guys' thoughts on that. Bro, if that was on my car door, that's like a voodoo doc. Like a voodoo. Witch doctor, that's how you know you took the wrong turn. Don't listen to the friend in the passenger seat that's always trying to steer you wrong. You got GPS, use it. GPS keeps you on suitable terrain. But man, if I seen that at my car door, I wouldn't know what to do. I, I just have a heart attack. Sit there, look at. I, I, I wouldn't even want to look at it. Slap fucking also stroke. what's running up the stairs oh i'd be spazzing i'd be up there with you saying both for how fast i'd be going up those flights of stairs like it's not even funny i would be running like what would you guys do if you guys were getting chased up flight of stairs that looked like they were never ending i would be on a whole new level of paranoid and afraid i would honestly debate jumping right down the middle and trying to catch the bottom level and running down just depends on how we got in find your nearest exit my guy never meant to see things humans were never meant to see let's see this is one of the scariest videos online. Experiment shows how intense radiation heat leaves behind a shadow. Days later he died, but doctors said it wasn't from this experiment. Oh my god. I didn't know radiation did that. Did you guys know that? But that all makes sense now. Just because if we all look at Chernobyl, they say that there's still shadows from people that died during that incident. And that's scary to think about. At the end of the day, radiation is dangerous. You get too close to it, you're gonna die. Radiation levels are nothing to play with. Especially, you might get cancer in the future. I mean, who knows? It's not good for your body at all. And the worst factors of radiation for people now these days is actually your cell phone it's crazy to even think about the videos you can never watch at night we all know how there's some videos okay you just can't watch them at night because right before night scared. well in this series i'll be showing you all of those videos see so be ready to get terrified who are you i've seen this that i think that's a mask 
I've seen this video multiple times, but I've also seen the factors of those like silicone masks that are skin tight. That's well, definitely a mass though. Something after watching that video. This video has been going viral recently and nobody knows the origins of it. it <laughs> because it's fake. A ghostly woman standing outside a it's creepy though, but night, it's fake. And she says something took her daughter and did this to her. But nobody knows what that is. The man who uploaded the video hasn't updated anybody on if he's seen her again or if he's okay. Because it people to worry never happened. Her. But I can't imagine looking out my window at night and seeing this. But that is so fake, and we all know it is. Because you can see the mass discretions around the eyes. I mean, you can see it around the mouth. I just think it's a pure silicone mask, and they got, like, a fake silicone hand on with sharp fingers. Wouldn't you guys agree? Because ain't no way somebody's gonna be straight next to that window. I wouldn't be standing next to that window if that thing was out my window. What if that thing breaks through the window and grabs you? It's gonna kill you, right? People need to think logical in horror situations. Like, if you would see a killer, don't run at it. Run away. But I do definitely think that's fake. Let me know down in the comments what y'all thoughts are. Use on people in real life, part one. Up first, to perform the first curse. Curses on, on people? In a pen. Then draw the shape of a person on the piece of paper. And be careful not to rip the paper while you're drawing on it. Then draw an X on the figure. And Why is this guy teaching this? Whether it be the head, chest, hands, feet. You should not be teaching this. Then imagine the person you want to curse and stab the part of the body where you put the X. Then keep stabbing it hey, until it's black. And do not do this at home, now, people. the person that you wanted to curse will start to feel a pain in their body exactly where you stab the X on the piece of paper. This is now, voodoo. You start playing with this, you're gonna catch a demon in your life. They will either have bad luck for the rest of their lives, or they will die. But if anybody sees you drawing on the piece of paper and performing the curse, the curse will then backfire on you and you will experience the full consequence. That's the thing about voodoo, I swear though. If you don't do something right, it all falls back on you. And this is why nobody should practice it. It's dangerous. Dangerous for you and your soul. That guy should not be teaching this online, but it's probably not real. It's definitely a clickbaitable and believable thing, but I definitely don't think that's real just because there's got to be a lot more that goes into it other than just thinking about somebody. Remember this thing's found in people's houses. Run, found under the carpet. That's a body stain. That's a ritual. If you see a body stain in your house, though, after you lifted up the carpet after like somebody died on the floor, and that that's just that that's literally what happens after somebody dies in the home. Because when you die. And if you die in your home, it will leave like your bodily fluids all over the floor. Like your body will decrease, like deceit. I don't even know how to say that word. Like blood out of its pores. It's super weird, super gross. But the people that do clean up like restorations with that. And I don't even know like what it's exactly called. Because I can't even watch those videos. Because there are videos out there that do show all of that stuff. Trust me. But watching those is like sickening. You know what I mean? But if you do see that in your home, that means somebody definitely has died in your home. And if you see that panda hanging up, you best be ripping it down or even questioning the previous odors. What y'all doing? Skinwalker disguised as... Hello? I've seen this. This is freaky. Ain't no... No. Ain't no goat, whatever the heck that is, gonna walk up to your window like that, walk up to your door. That almost presented itself as human. Like, come here, let me get that soul. Like, that's what that's saying, bro. That's just a very weird experience. Like, could you just imagine experiencing that? I wouldn't even know what to say. I wouldn't even know what to do. Like, I, what, what are you gonna do with a goat or whatever that was? I think that was a goat on your doorstep. I mean, I... Leave the light on for him. A lot of scary videos though tonight. But that's going to be wrapping it up for this video, guys. So if you guys did enjoy, make sure to hit that like, hit that subscribe, ring that notification bell. Also, let me know down in the comments which video you thought was sketchy, scary, bone chilling. I would love to hear from you guys and see what you guys have to say. And as well as I always love to read your comments and interact with you. Other than that, it's been fun. It's good to be back. And as always, I'm going to see y'all in the next video. Peace.